Hi, I'm Mike Lingo from Rocket Pro Forma, and today we're going to talk about multiple business models in Rocket Pro Forma. So uh, there's three main business models. There's virtual, which is services or transactions or marketplace. Uh, there's things that are physical that deal with manufacturing or inventory, and there are subscriptions. And so typically, especially when uh, companies are starting out, they choose one of these. So we might choose to do uh, a physical. We're going to create uh, an Internet of Things device. Okay, so we turn on the physical, and that's the only business model we have. But then what happens is uh, the, you might want to sell subscriptions on top of that. So if you were creating something like the Ring or the Nest, um, which are IoT devices, Internet of Things devices that you have in your home, you buy the device, but then you buy a subscription on top of it. So Rocket Pro Forma lets you add a subscription model to your uh, physical device model, which is super cool. So uh, what happens down here, if more than one business model is active, this next section lights up. So remember, I have, uh, I have devices active and I have subscriptions active, and we're going to set up something like the Nest or the Ring. So first I would choose my primary business model, which in this case is going to be the devices. So the way that Nest or Ring works, you have to buy the device in order to buy the subscription. So my sales funnels that I set up are going to sell devices. And then once people buy devices, then some of them are going to buy subscriptions. So devices is the primary business model and it drives the subscriptions. And so what I can do, I can set this up uh, I can set it up so that device customers purchase subscriptions. And I'm actually just going to uncheck the rest of these. But what happens now is my primary business model is devices, and then device customers purchase subscriptions. And this creates a visualization. So my sales funnels drive device sales, who then purchase subscriptions. And I can actually have more than one business model um, being driven by my primary. So I might also turn on transactions. Again, devices is my primary business model. And so uh, my sales funnels are driving device sales. And then those device sales, uh, I need to check the box, but device customers also purchase these lessons that I'm selling. And so then you'll see uh, my primary funnel is the devices. And then those customers then purchase services and subscriptions. And then I can set uh, device customers the conversion rate to lessons and the conversion rate to subscriptions. So I'm saying 75% of uh, my device customers in year one are purchasing subscriptions, 25% of them are purchasing lessons. And I can change that in year two, I can change that in year three, so I'm growing my ability to convert those customers to those other business models. So this is super cool. Um, I love this part of Rocket Pro Forma because you can layer business models on top of each other, use one business model as the primary, and then have that model drive other business models. So examples, uh, Nest and Ring I've already talked about, are uh, device companies that then sell subscriptions to the people who buy their devices. If you're an Uber rider or a Lyft rider, it's a transaction business model. Uh, it's a marketplace you buy rides, but then they try to sell you subscriptions. So they try to sell you the ride pass, the monthly pass, and uh, convert you from a transaction customer to a subscription customer. So you could set that up easily in Rocket Pro Forma using transactions as your primary business model, but then have that business model drive subscriptions. You could also do something like Amazon Prime where you have a subscription, so you sign up for the Amazon Prime subscription, which then drives transactions. So because you have an Amazon Prime subscription, or because I have an Amazon Prime subscription, I then buy things on Amazon. So I do these e-commerce transactions. So the subscription model actually drives the e-commerce transaction model. So again, in Rocket Pro Forma, you can set that up as well. Uh, you could also set up something uh, where a device drives transactions. So for example, um, Pitney Bowes makes postage meters that you can install in your office. So you buy the device, and then whenever you want to send something, it's a transaction, you buy a stamp. Um, so the device sales drive transactions. So at any rate, you can set up these layers where one business model is driving one or more other secondary business models. 
I love this feature about Rocket Pro Forma. Uh, it makes it super easy to um, set these layers of business models up. So check it out. Let me know how it goes uh, and enjoy.